when we walk in the New Jerusalem, we came across a huge crystal river with its crystalline water, then we saw the tree of life in the middle of this river of life, surrounded by an enclosure, upon which were twelve stars. The angels of the Lord told me, the twelve stars represent the twelve massive foundation upon which the city is rested, there were multicolor light, streaming from these foundations, that were different precious stones and material, with which the city infrastructure are built with, for in this celestial world all the mansion of light are built with material that are the twelve precious stones that stream light, such as gold, crystal, jasp, chrysolite, and these twelve stars carved on the inward enclosure, are the twelve apostle and twelve tribe of Israel, we are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone, there are twelve angels that guard the city, at the front of each mansion of light, there is a bright angel, the eternal city of glory and light was empty. But the apostle John said, I looked and saw a multitude too large to count, from every nation and tribe and people and tongue, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands, the Lord angels said, God has not restricted the number of the people that are to live in this perfect city, however the number of the children of Israel that are to be saved is well known and is limited, at the end of the world there will be twelve thousand souls of each tribe of Israel that will have access to the new Jerusalem. In total there will be 144,000 Jew that will be saved, the number of these souls are determined in advance because of their hardness, however we all need an invitation to attend the Lamb Wedding Supper. The invitation is keeping the Lord commandment, not everyone is doing the will of God, thus not everybody that have received an invitation. The angel of the Lord said, the seven stars on the enclosure of the tree of life are the seven light of the lamp stand. They are also the five ministry, they are also the seven churches and the seven spirit, then the angel asked me. Do you know the meaning of the tree of life, I hear about it in the church I said. The angel told me, the tree is in the middle of the blue river, do you see its root where is it, I said the root of the tree of life is deep inside the water of life, is this tree of life Jesus Christ? The angel told me in the New Jerusalem this tree represent Jesus Christ himself, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations, there are no sickness for these leaves will be healing, every month the tree will bear fruit, people will not be hungry they won't need light, we are talking about the New Jerusalem, it's especially for believers that are preparing the rapture, in this vision the Lord taught me thing through images and types because of my level of faith. I said in the first gate of the city I was taught to be in covenant with Christ and walk in holiness, we must come out of this world, like people standing above the mountain ready to rise for the rapture, when we had entered the fifth gate of the city, I saw a man, a woman and a boy, the Lord angels told me, these are the image of Abraham, Sarah and Isaac, Abraham was a man of strong faith, and the bride must have the faith of Abraham, he was an extremely kind person and the bride of Christ must be kind enough to practice hospitality and receive people at home, Abraham was a man that was always burning offering to the Lord, he was a great giver to the point of being willing to offer his son as offering to the Lord, the bride of Christ must be a church that burn offering before the Lord, Abraham met Melchizedek to give tithe, tell the people of God to always give tithe if they want to be the bride of Christ. Many pastor are not giving tithe, they claim that you have to pay tithe to a mentor, but you gonna tell them, if they don't have mentor they must give to the widows, the orphan and those who are in need, Abraham wife Sarah was obedient and submissive and she interceded for her husband, she followed the order of her husband, unlike many women today that contradict their husband, so you know why Sarah gave birth to Isaac, and do you know why Isaac is a blessed child? Abraham has offered hospitality to the angels and instructed Sarah to butcher unblemished cattle and cook for the visitor, Abraham made sure that the visitor eat, as a result of hospitality Sarah received the promise and the child, in this gate the Lord is asking the bride to be like Abraham and Sarah, they were people of faith, people of prayer and intercession and liberality and hospitality. When we had reached the sixth gate of the new Jerusalem, I saw a glass and flower, the angel told me, the glass symbolize vision, immediate vision and long distance vision, 
You might not have the gift of vision but in your heart you got to have discernment, we must have spiritual vision to read end times event happening around us, flower is an image of attraction. The church is supposed to attract unbeliever. The church is not supposed to chase away and snub people, it is supposed to be tender, caring and loving, in order to attract those who are being lost. These days bad characters are chasing people away from many churches, people must be exposed to the word of God whatever their condition. When the sixth gate of the New Jerusalem was opened, I saw a cloud that filled the court, and I could not see anything. The angel said this cloud is the presence and the glory of God that must fill the life of the believer, when you are filled with his presence, your body, soul and spirit will shine with glory, even the body will be rejuvenated, when the enemy come he won't see you for God presence cover like cloud above water, there are people that are rejuvenating because of God presence and anointing. The Lord shine his glory on his people, when the cloud of glory covering the court of this part of the city dissipated. I saw before us a beautiful altar that was erected in this place, and there was a table around it, upon this table which were food, the Bible, the candlestick, the incense. The angel told me this altar and the table symbolize the heart of the believer, the Bible say, you prepare a table before me, to my surprise the table was overturned before me, and everything fell to the ground, and the angel told me, the overturn of the table is what happened whenever you sin. For when you sin, you overturn the altar, and the table of the Lord place before you, and nothing remain the same, for the Spirit of God, the gift and the word in you leave. I was sad to see everything falling on the ground, then I saw the angels of the Lord putting back the table that was reverse and placing the Bible, the candlestick and the incense on the table. I asked the angel what is the meaning of this, they told me, when a believer fall in sin. He should not stay on the ground in that condition, he must rise from the ground immediately and confess his sins straight away, in order to get back to the presence of God, it is when you come back to the Lord that we rebuild the altar that was brought down, we arrange the table that was overturned by sin, and we place back the incense, the candlestick and the sword, like a retrograde woman who watch my testimony in Norway, when I pray for her all the gift that went dormant will revive and she can now see vision every day, the bride must not sleep in sin. He must confess. The angel asked me what is on the table, I replied to the them, there is a white tablecloth, the Lord angels say this table represent the heart of the bride, it must be white, unblemished and without stain, every morning and night you must confess. The angel said the sword that you see is the word of God in the heart of the believer. The angel said do you know the incense? I replied I see it in the Catholic Church, people say it is Catholic magic. The angel said it is not magic, but nowadays it is spiritual, for the worship is spiritual, you don't need incense in the church but you can see it in the book of Revelation, incense represent prayer that is approved by the Lord, it's called the prayer of incense for they are welcomed in the altar, you got to do prayer that are pleasing to the Lord, that's when you remove from your heart anger, hate bitterness, your heart must be white, the food is the word you renounce the world and become attached to word and clean your heart white, the Lord himself will death with your need and issue. The angels say the candlestick represent the five ministry, when we had reached the seventh gate of the new Jerusalem, I saw countless young girls and boy praying intensely, as a result the anointing and the cloud descended covering them, they began to speak in tongue and prophesying, I told the angels, you said there is no one in this city. The angels told me, this is the end time, where the Lord will use young people, tell them to seek the face of the Lord in prayer and avoid distraction, and the Lord will use them powerfully, the cloud that descended is the glory of God in their lives if they can spend time in prayer. They will be used intensely, they will manifest the gift of the Spirit and perform miracles. They just need to get away from the distraction of this world and seek consecration and service. When we had reached the eighth gate of the New Jerusalem, I saw a woman dressed in white with her head cover, she was seating by the side of the limpid and crystalline water of life, her feet was inside the water that was like glass, on the other side of the river I saw five men observing the woman, I saw that this woman garment was changing color, including her veil and shoes. 
To my surprise I saw the limpid water changing color in harmony with the lady garment and the five men in the other side of the river, actually the lady garment was changing to different color of the rainbow, and whatever the color of the women robe the water was also taking that color, the Lord Angels told me, you see the changing color of this woman robe, she is the type of the bride of Christ, that must display all the color of the rainbow, the bride must reflect peace, she must reflect joy truth, kindness, humility, prudence, all these colors of the rainbow must manifest in the bride of Christ, once the bride has all the color of the rainbow all these color will be manifested when she deliver the word. The water springing from the bride will be the reflection of the rainbow color, your virtues will affect even the words that you preach to the people, your virtue that a rainbow color will affect even the environment and the people around you. That is why you see the water taking the color of the garment of the woman that represent the bride, you saw the five people receiving the color of the garment of the woman that represent the bride, you must reach a level where you are transmitting to the world your peace, kindness, humility and all the virtue of the rainbow that is in you. Let your kindness affect your environment, let your joy be contagious to the people around you, beloved. If you are working to rise in the rapture you must release and transmit the color of the rainbow wherever you live, work and serve God, let us build the fruit of the spirit, but in order to manifest the virtue of the rainbow, you must be broken and consumed by the fire of purification in the house of breaking, where your bad characters and evil habit will be consumed in the furnace of God.